7.47 p.m. Tuesday night. You're on the couch, TV playing, dinner still on the table. Your left arm stops moving. You stare at it. You tell it to move. Nothing. You try calling your wife. Ooh, ooh. The words come out twisted, slurred, like your mouth forgot how to work. She looks at you and you see it in her eyes. Fear. Because right now, while you're confused and terrified, an artery inside your brain is blocked. And every minute that passes, according to research from the American Heart Association, you're losing 1.9 million brain cells. Gone. Forever. The clock is ticking. And if nothing is done in the next few hours, you won't be you anymore. Now, I know that sounds intense, but this isn't fiction. This isn't something that happens to other people. This is the reality for thousands of families every single day around the world. Here's what most people don't know. We can stop a stroke right in the middle of the attack. The technology exists today. Doctors can dissolve clots with powerful medication. They can even physically remove clots from your brain using microcatheters thinner than spaghetti strands. But, and this is where your knowledge becomes critical, these treatments only work within a specific time window. Miss that window, your options shrink dramatically, fast. If you're over 50, if you have high blood pressure, if you've been told your cholesterol is elevated, if you carry extra weight around your midsection, if anyone in your family ever suffered a stroke or heart attack, this message is specifically for you. Before we go any further, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to the channel. We're so glad you're here. If this information helps you today, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming health videos. Drop your country in the comments below. I'd love to know where you're watching from. Your health matters, and we're honored to be part of your wellness journey. Now, back to what you need to know. Because understanding this information, truly absorbing it, could mean the difference between walking out of a hospital and spending years in rehabilitation, between living independently or depending on others for basic tasks, between being there for your grandchildren or becoming a statistic. The next few minutes could change everything. Your brain uses 20% of all the oxygen in your body. Think about that for a moment. One-fifth of every breath you take goes straight to your brain. Your brain demands constant fuel, glucose, and oxygen delivered through an intricate network of blood vessels. When blood flow stops, even briefly, those brain cells start dying. And unlike skin cells or liver cells, brain cells don't regenerate. Once they're gone, they're gone forever. According to the World Stroke Organization's 2025 Global Stroke Fact Sheet published in partnership with The Lancet Neurology, stroke remains the second leading cause of death worldwide, responsible for approximately 7 million deaths annually. It's also one of the leading causes of long-term disability, leaving survivors unable to walk, speak, or care for themselves. Two main types of stroke exist, ischemic stroke, this accounts for 87% of all cases, according to the American Stroke Association and Johns Hopkins Medicine. Think of it like a clogged drain in your kitchen sink. A blood clot, sometimes formed in the heart or neck arteries, travels through your bloodstream and gets stuck in a brain artery. Everything downstream from that blockage stops receiving oxygen. Brain tissue begins dying within minutes. Hemorrhagic stroke. This makes up about 13% of strokes, but carries significantly higher mortality. A weakened blood vessel, perhaps damaged by years of high blood pressure, ruptures inside the brain. Blood leaks where it shouldn't be. That pooling blood becomes toxic to surrounding brain tissue and creates dangerous pressure inside the skull. Either way, the rule stays the same. Time is brain. Landmark research published in the American Heart Association's journal, Stroke, by Dr. Jeffrey Saver at UCLA's Stroke Center calculated exactly how much brain tissue you lose per minute during a stroke. The numbers are staggering. Every minute, 1.9 million neurons destroyed. Every minute, 14 billion synapses gone. Every minute, 12 kilometers of nerve fibers damaged. Put another way, 
Every hour your brain goes untreated, it ages 3.6 years. In just four hours without treatment, your brain ages as much as it normally would in over 14 years. That research has been cited thousands of times because it illustrates one undeniable truth. The faster you act, the more brain you save. So how do you know when someone is having a stroke? There's a simple test emergency responders use worldwide, and after today, you'll never forget it. Emergency responders across America, Europe, and Asia use this exact test. It saves thousands of lives each year. Every hospital emergency department knows it. It's called Be Fast. B. Balance. Sudden loss of balance or coordination. Trouble walking straight. The person may look like they've had too much to drink, stumbling, grabbing walls, unable to stand steady, but they haven't touched alcohol. This happens because the brain regions controlling movement are affected. E. Eyes. Blurred vision in one or both eyes. Double vision where one object appears as two. Sudden blindness in one eye. Some people describe it like a curtain dropping over their sight or a shade being pulled down. These visual changes happen suddenly without explanation. F. Face. Ask them to smile. Does one side droop? Does their smile look crooked or completely uneven? The muscles on one side of the face may stop responding entirely. This facial drooping is one of the most visible and recognizable stroke symptoms. A. Arms. Ask them to raise both arms above their head. Can they hold them up equally? Does one arm drift downward while the other stays raised? One weak or completely paralyzed arm signals serious trouble. This happens because the brain hemisphere controlling that side has lost blood supply. S. Speech. This symptom gets missed most often because people make excuses. Maybe they're just tired. Maybe they had too much wine at dinner. Maybe work stress is getting to them. Stop making excuses. Stop hoping it passes. Slurred, strange, or confused speech is an emergency. The person might not make sense. They might use wrong words. They might not understand what you're saying to them. Their voice might sound different. Act immediately. T. Time. If you see even one of these symptoms, call emergency services right now. In the US, dial 911. In Europe, dial 112. Anywhere else, get to the nearest hospital, fast. Don't wait to see if it passes. Don't decide to sleep it off and check tomorrow. Don't convince yourself it's nothing serious. Research in the Lancet Neurology showed that many stroke patients delay seeking help because they hope symptoms will simply resolve. That delay costs them precious brain cells, millions every minute wasted. Here's what healthy, informed people do differently. They recognize symptoms immediately. They don't second guess. They don't make excuses. They call for help within minutes. That's what separates people who walk out of hospitals from those who don't. Two medical advances have transformed stroke treatment completely over the past two decades. These breakthroughs have turned what was once a death sentence into a survivable, treatable emergency. First, thrombolysis, the clot dissolver. A man, 57 years old, collapses on his couch, face drooping, drooling, speech garbled, confused about what's happening. His wife recognizes the signs immediately. She doesn't wait. She doesn't hope it passes. She calls 911 within 60 seconds. At the hospital, doctors confirm ischemic stroke, a clot blocking blood flow to his brain, no bleeding visible on the CT scan, ruling out hemorrhage. They administer a drug called Altaplace, also known as TPA or tissue plasminogen activator. This clot dissolving medication travels through the bloodstream, finds the blockage, and breaks it apart chemically. According to the EXTEND trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine, this treatment shows significant benefit when given within 4.5 hours of symptom onset. More recent research published in 2024 demonstrates that with advanced brain imaging like CT perfusion scans, some patients may benefit from thrombolysis even 9 to 24 hours after symptoms begin.
30 minutes after treatment, the man moves his hand again. The clot is dissolved. Blood flows. His wife cries with relief. Second, mechanical thrombectomy, the clot retrieval. An older woman, 71 years old, wakes up paralyzed on her entire left side. She lives alone. She drags herself across the floor to reach her phone. Her son finds her hours later. The problem, nobody knows when the stroke actually started. Was it 11 p.m., 2 a.m., 5 a.m.? 20 years ago, her story would have ended in a wheelchair, or worse. But today, in 2025, doctors thread a hair-thin microcatheter through her femoral artery in the groin. They navigate it carefully up through her body, through the aorta, through neck arteries, into her brain. They advance a tiny expandable mesh device through the clot. When it opens, the mesh wraps around the blockage like a net catching a fish. They pull it out. Blood rushes back in. Oxygen returns to starving tissue. She lifts her arm. The Dawn and Diffuse 3 trials, published in the New England Journal of Medicine, proved this clot retrieval procedure works up to 24 hours after symptoms begin in properly selected patients. We literally fish clots out of human brains now. But none of this works if you don't get to the hospital quickly enough. Understanding these warning signs and acting on them without hesitation gives you and your loved ones the best possible chance for survival and full recovery. The research is clear and compelling. According to the Aurora Collaborative Analysis of pooled clinical trial data from multiple studies, patients who received mechanical thrombectomy were more than twice as likely to achieve functional independence at 90 days compared to those who received only standard medical care alone. According to the World Stroke Organization and Global Burden of Disease Research, approximately 84% of the global stroke burden is linked to modifiable risk factors. That includes high blood pressure, physical inactivity, poor diet, excessive alcohol, smoking, and obesity. This means most strokes can be prevented through lifestyle changes. And when they do happen, Fast action makes an enormous difference in outcomes. So here's exactly what I want you to do today. First, memorize, be fast. Balance, eyes, face, arms, speech, time. Write it on paper, stick it on your refrigerator door, put it in your phone notes, save this video so you can review it again, teach it to your children, make sure everyone in your household knows these warning signs. Second, share this information with someone you care about. Watch this video together with your parents. Send it to your spouse. Forward it to friends over 50. Post it where family members will see it. Because one day, maybe next month, maybe in five years, recognizing a drooping face or slurred speech could save someone's life. The woman in that story survived because her son recognized something was wrong and acted without hesitation. The man recovered fully because his wife didn't waste a single minute questioning whether to call 911. These medical miracles don't start in hospitals. They start in living rooms, at kitchen tables, on backyard patios. They start with ordinary people like you noticing something isn't right and choosing to act instead of wait and hope. If this video helped you understand stroke better, if you learned something today that could save a life, hit that like button right now. Type yes in the comments if you're committed to protecting your neurological health and the health of your family. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss important health information we share. And remember this, time is brain. Every minute matters. You are the first line of defense for everyone you love. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy. I'll see you in the next video.